Hey everybody and welcome to VGT if you're new here. I hope you're hope you're gonna enjoy this one. I think it's gonna be good. And if you're not new, well, you've seen I haven't been as consistent as I want it to be. Uh, of course. Um I had a bit of a scary moment at like 4 a.m. this morning. And kind of the moment I injured myself, I knew I wanted to make a VGT about it eventually. And um with the left side of my spacebar, it doesn't really work well. <laughs> Well, this morning was a scary moment, and I wanted to talk about it a bit this morning. Um, May 10th, that's a Tuesday. Uh, last week, I injured myself. Yay! Wow, this is fortunate. Uh, I'll use my mouse. Um, I tore the ligament of my AC joint. It's a type 2 tear, which could have been much worse. Um, attempted a backflip. I've done many on mats. Really not enough. Lost my confidence halfway through the tuck, landed on the sand, shoulder first, heard a pop, and here I am. So the important thing is that what this means is my shoulder kind of hurts when I move it. <laughs> and while the internet and you know the doctors have said like it'll it'll take you two, three weeks to like get being able to move it pretty much. Oh, this isn't the right character. I'm used to it. whatever. I'm not trying to go for flips. Um I cannot, you know, it'll it'll take some months to really fully heal it, which sucks. Um, and, you know, as soon as the injury happened, I was so scared about how long I was going to be out of the running for things and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it's got me to wonder, for example, with, you know, doing parkour, I can't do parkour right now. I can't put weight on my right arm. Um... I can't use it. <laughs> I can't even, you know, go for mobility exercises really. And that sucks because parkour has been such a huge part of my life lately. I can't do karate or boxing. Um, I can't even continue doing my calisthenic stuff. I had to cancel my rock climbing membership um, that I just started get really getting into, which was super fun. The calluses are building up in my hands and then whoop, taken away by myself, that is. And it sucks. Turn down the volume for me. Good thing I didn't die. Um, it just, it sucks. And last night, I woke up, I took my arm out of the sling just to kind of let it, like, hang elongated, not bent. It was sweaty and itchy. And I woke up at like four um, to some pain in my shoulder. But I noticed this, like, pins and needles feeling. And wow, that was an unfortunate timing. I noticed this pins and needles feeling in my right hand, um, in my right pinky and ring finger. And it was one of those things where I was like really tired, just coming out of sleep. I felt like I could get up and like go on with my day. I knew that I shouldn't though. And so I did end up falling back asleep, but I was up for like 20 minutes. And I was so scared that I was gonna lose sensation in my part of my hand for a while. Cause I was like, oh my God, that's not going away didn't get worse and it, it, as of right now it's, it's feeling fine I think there's still some lingering feeling maybe that's just phantom um aka in my mind or whatever but chances are there's a pinched nerve and I maybe unpinched it or hopefully uh, you know my body has become desensitized I could still move my pinky I could still feel it it was just a pins and needles feeling um that persisted for a few hours I guess that was terrifying um yeah I'm sorry I keep hitting things that uh, no, I'm using my mouse with my left hand now that was absolutely terrifying because all of a sudden, you know, I do use my right pinky to type. I use my ring finger to type, especially. Who am I going to become if I'm not a fast typer? <laughs> um, I guess, you know, I can't do archer right now because I can't hold my bow. So, you know, fortunately I could probably do that. But, you know, parkour, how can I climb if I can only use three of my fingers? Um, What's, what's my life gonna turn into all of a sudden? And I think this injury is a super humbling exploration into who the hell I am when I can't do the things that have become such a close part of my identity lately. Um, you know, there's a part of me last night that started thinking to the extreme and thinking, what if I lose my whole right hand? Well, shoot, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm already writing with my left hand. Um, and, you know, typing is pretty awkward, but it's working, that's unfortunate. I'm starting to write with my left hand and it looks like chicken scratch, but you know, I'm gonna focus on it. 
but I, you know, I was thinking, well, I'm glad I did, you know, those last few parkour things that I did before I got injured. I'm glad I got that V2 rock climbing. That was great. Um, you know, my one main group of friends in New York is through parkour and all of a sudden I've ripped that away, but I want to go back to sessions even if I'm just sitting there observing. Um, it'll make me sad, but it's, you know, the, the biggest lesson I've learned is Aside from like the mental stuff I was going through while attempting the backflip, I realized that there's this saying that's don't practice until you get it right, practice until you don't get it wrong. And I'm really going to take that to heart from now on because the backflip, I could have done it, but I lost, I untucked halfway through. Um, and had I built up some more confidence, I would have been fine. Had I not been in that mental state, I would have been fine. Um, but it's really important to do something so much that you can do it without thinking. And that's that's really the key. Do it so much you just don't have to think about it. Um, and yeah, anyway, so my identity all of a sudden, you know, I do parkour or did want to do whatever. Tuesday night for about two hours, plus minus 30 minutes on either side for the commute usually, or if I run. Thursday for about three hours. Wednesdays a mobility class for about an hour. I can commute on those. And then most Saturdays. So four times a week. Um, sometimes five if I want to go on Monday, if I want to get out and move. And I was running to and from a lot of those sessions. And all of a sudden that's gone now. And so I, it, it makes me realize how much I've kind of sacrificed to prioritize parkour, which is great. Um, you know, those evenings could be going toward video editing or something. You know, the fact that I haven't uploaded it in six weeks on the Lifestyle channel is a whole other issue and whatnot. But I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm trying to focus on the positive, right? So if I do lose my hand, I need to try and figure out what I can do. I don't want to become a lost right hand, right? And I know there are people who have gone through this before. I know there are people who you know, are, have, like, actually have this disability, I'm not saying I have a disability, but actually have the disability of, um, you know, missing an arm, a leg, or whatever, and I'm not trying to equate it to that, don't, please don't get me wrong, um, I think it's just all of a sudden, you know, it, one thing you rely on so much is ripped away from you, how do you adapt, who, who do you become, um, It's, you know, it's been kind of one of my fears in a way with like, you know, if we lose the internet, then who am I all of a sudden? Um, I, sorry, I had to really focus on that jump, evidently. Um, so, you know, with the time on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, what do I do? And my first thought was study Japanese. Really get going on Japanese. Um, again, I should say. You know, now that I can have to tie with one hand, it'll slow me down on reviews and really make me think about them. Um, do the grammar stuff I've been meaning to. Go through the textbook that I have. Uh, really, really study Japanese because I certainly have time. I mean, I had time before, but I certainly have time now. Um, unlike with my job situation, I shouldn't spend that time watching TV or YouTube. It should fully be a matter of putting this time towards something I keep thinking, oh, I don't have time for that today. Um, that's Japanese textbook study is the first thing that came to mind. And then there's art, and I realize I would have to teach myself to draw with my left hand. Um, which kind of sounds like a cool idea, <laughs> learn to draw with your left. Um, and I think I might do some like draw box exercises with my left hand. I think that would be kind of an interesting you know, aspect of myself, but all of a sudden, if, you know, people say, hey, what are you up to these days, Mark? And I say, oh, I'm doing parkour now. I'm working at this job. That's your identity to, to other people, at least. And that's the identity you choose to show is the important thing here. Um, so the identity that I've associated with is someone just parkour, archery, um, you know, I should be able to get back to running. So that's at least, at the very least, that's good. I wanted to be really good at calisthenics, and all of a sudden I'm scared if I'll ever be able to do a pull-up again. Um, 
I get I get really scared about the niche injuries. You know, the ligament will never fully I beat its full strength again, but anyway. It's a scary thing. And so now when people ask what have you been up to? Oh, I've been studying Japanese. I've been learning to like really teach myself to draw. Learning to write with my left hand, learning to wipe with my left hand. <laughs> um it's it's a humbling experience at the end of the day. Because it, you know, you can kind of force yourself to like, you know, you could bind up your right arm for a day, a week if you really wanted to. And you could see what you're capable of doing, but when you're, you know, you wouldn't want to do that in the week you have a bunch of coding interviews. Um, that's certainly no fun. Every time you shift your, your shoulder, you realize, oh, that hurts. <laughs> and you try to write some more code. Um, oh, sick, I got the achievement. I didn't even realize that. Um, I must have gotten really lucky with the timing. Yeah, you know, you can do that, but the, the fear itself will never be there. I mean, when I woke up this morning and I thought, you know, I did something and it could have been so much worse. Um, but I got to remember runners come back from ACL tears, skiers come back from ACL tears. Um, you know, the human body is this glorious mechanism and it's great at healing itself. PT in nine days, I can't wait. Unironically, can't wait. Um, and I don't know I, I'm curious to see you know what I'll do these next couple of weeks because I was gonna you know probably move and all of a sudden I don't get these last three months of New York City in its fullest to me at least parkour and stuff so you know, maybe I'll stay for a year and and then Finally, you know, get some more permanent desk set up and whatnot. Um, putting on a shirt, you know. Two days ago, that took me 15 minutes to put on a t-shirt. This morning, it took about two minutes. Um, exponential decay there. Love it. Progress. <laughs> Love to see it. Um, you know, my right arm is already feeling, feeling better. There's less discomfort when I sleep. But there's still the fear and acknowledgement that at any moment something just you know terrible could happen. you really get a sense of you know i'm not the exception um there's this there's this bias i think it's the halo effect um where you know oh i'm, I'm not gonna get cancer kind of thing or i'm not gonna you know die this isn't gonna happen to me it only happens to other people um and you really, when you really injure yourself, that's gonna kill me. I'm not gonna get a chance to restore. Never mind. When you really injured yourself, you really get a chance to be like, shoot, dude, this is a problem. Um, and uh, Lima really waited for me. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's seriously a problem. Anyway, um, this thing is really challenging my identity. And on the downside, it shows me that I will never feel whole again if I were to lose the things I've come to love. If I could never do parkour again, uh, you know, that's an unfathomable thought. It's impossible to think how I'd feel. It just doesn't, when I try to think about how I feel, it doesn't start well. Um, you know, when I... Shoot, I was doing so well. Let me return to that thought in just a moment. Because I think it's a good one. New player, let's go! Trip to... What are your... Advantages? Purchase the wingsuit. Wait, what? You get a whole... Workshop? I don't understand. I've got the wingsuit. Okay. Anyway, um. Oh, cool. On the downside, 
there's the sense that I'm never going to feel whole again, as I was saying. Um, you know, I haven't done archery in a few months now, but just the, the notion that I might not be able to do it again is terrifying. You know, knowing that I might not be able to type at 180, you know, work for a minute is terrifying because that's become a part of my identity um, in a lot of ways. Uh, maybe I don't want to orient my YouTube channel around that totally. Maybe I can still make some typing videos, but it's, yeah, it's troubling. Um, you know, if I have to write code with one hand for a living, yikes. Ever want to play the piano again? No more can do. Need to edit? One hand? Can't use a mouse? That... <clears throat> Yikes, dude. Um... Sucks, uh, is my point. But on the bright side, um, I realize that there are things that I care about now that find space to breathe. So, you know, while it's not a full replacement, I, I would feel okay and I feel optimistic with the fact that, you know what, I could prioritize language learning. You know, I can make that a more core part of my identity. I can go back to academia. Um, you know, if coding were to become that frustrating, I can go back to academia um, and follow through on that dream. Holy crap, that was so much speed. What? All right, they're just giving you characters at this point that just have OP powers. What? Dude, are you kidding me? It's freaking sick. Twenty thousand trick points. That's it. With this character, easy clap. Sorry, I got really into this. Um. So, my identity, I lose a bunch of things, but I can become optimistic. Frick. I spoke too soon. With the notion that there are other things that I do that I can identify with. And it's going to be curious to explore those things. You know, who am I when I don't have all these other things? Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and or listening. I do hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear your thoughts in down below if you injured yourself or, you know, are you scared of injury? Um, I think at the end of the day, I, I am glad I injured myself. And if that sounds weird to say, but this was going to happen eventually. Um, and for the injury to be severe as it is, but not so severe as it could have been is something I'm probably lucky for. So, yeah. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to look out for that rock. Now, <laughs> stay awesome.